Hello, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam, and today I have a Hero Quest unboxing specifically for the Hero Collection. I have the Rogue Heir of Erethorn. This is the, not the first of these little Hero Collections that they've released. Um, after doing their crowdfunding through Pulse, or whatever they call their Hasbro crowdfunding site, um, which had, you know, a few new heroes in it that I got through that. They, like, stealth released the, whatever, Guardian Knights or whatever it is. Um, and I, I did not know that that existed until well after they were all sold out. And it makes me sad. So this time, they let us know that they were producing another hero so that I could get it. And so let's check out the Rogue Heir of... Erethorn. Uh, a nimble and skilled skirmisher, deadly with small blades, independent but loyal to the monarch. A reluctant hero. Um, and it says like here and here, yeah, you know, requires hero quest game system to play, sold separately. It is just adding an extra hero. Um, but as I'm playing through hero quest with my buddies, um, they're playing the, the default four heroes for the main quest. But I'm like open to letting them switch heroes moving as we move on to other quests. This has two minis, 12 cards, and a story card. Get rid of this one. See. Oh. <laughs> Same symbol. And this little thing pulls up. You can see art of what's going to be on there. This is going to be our story card. Yeah, so we got a little story card here. Uh, how to play with this character. When you play the Hero Quest game system and are choosing your hero, you may select this character or you may select any other character available to you. A group of heroes should not include any duplicate characters. So even though there's two in here, you would only choose one or the other. Um, and then they have the rules for multiple attacks. So let's look at the actual minis first. Oh. I don't want to... <laughs> it's a sticker! I don't want to hurt said sticker. I don't mind hurting the tissue paper. So I'm going to tear the tissue paper and leave this sticker intact. Let's, um, get as close as we can. So here we got dual wielding here. Elf. Rogue. And on the other end, it's a different color sticker. <laughs> so. And these are beautiful little sculpts. For my own preparation, I um, do like a, a dark wash and then a dry brush, keeping them still the, the red color, but just showing the, the contrast of the sculpt is my preferred way of painting them. Because I grew up with the game with unpainted minis, so I don't I don't want them to not be the default colors, but there's definite ways that you can make the sculpts pop more. Yeah. So basically you get a male and female version. And we get the cards. There we go. We'll start. The rogue. Two red dice, starting weapon dagger. One, two, five, and four. You are the rogue, a nimble skirmisher who is deadly with small blades, but you lack the ability to use metal armor and shields. Equipped with your trusty bandolier, you are always prepared for danger. And likewise, the exact same stuff here with different art. And the exact same comment here. So, we 
We have Ambidextrous. Once per turn, when you attack with a short sword or dagger, you may make one additional attack with a dagger. Do not discard after use. Oh. That's what multiple attacks is talking about. So, by not using big weapons, you get to attack multiple times. Cool. Uh, combat mobility. You may move unseen through spaces occupied by monsters. Do not discard after use. Oh. Opportunistic Striker. Once per turn, you may throw one extra combat die when attacking a monster next to another hero. Do not discard after use. Dagger. A weapon. This sharp knife gives you the attack strength of one combat die. A dagger can also be thrown at any monster you can see, but is lost once it is thrown. And a bandolier. Yes, I mentioned that. Uh, counts as a toolkit for disarming traps, and you are always considered to be armed uh, with a dagger. It can only be used by the rogue. So you always have a dagger, so you don't lose it when you throw it, or rather you have more, and you can do it. So, and those are, of course, equipment. The back of the ability cards, the skill cards has the art of the different rogues. And then just to revisit this. Uh, lack the ability to use metal armor and shield. So you cannot get your defense very high. You are restricted because you don't you can't obviously wear the this is only worn by the wizard armor. And, you, and there's a lot of armor that you can't get. So your defense is low, but in exchange, you get to attack twice, move through opponents, and do a little better with your attack when using when another hero is in the area. I wonder if that means you're supposed to start equipped with it, or... Just pointing out that that I think that's just pointing out that that's an item that you can upgrade to get. But yeah, so that's just a little pack with a couple figures. Basically, one extra hero, but they have both gender options. Um, that is interesting because unlike, say, the spells that we have on a lot of other of the casters, of course, the wizard and the elf, but also the warlock. The is it, druid and the bard, which were in like the the pack that came with the Hasbro Pulse crowdfunding, um, those all just use spells that you got to use once per quest. This is a bunch of abilities you just have access to. Um, but restricting your armor that drastically, I'm like, I'm not sure. That it makes it broken. That might still be balanced. Um, yeah. No. But definitely mixes things up. Makes things interesting. And uh, that's the kind of thing that is going to entice players into trying a different... You know, a different character. Different hero. Is interesting new abilities. So, yeah. Um... I will link down below to the Hasbro Pulse site where this may still be available. Um, or you can, like me, keep a constant eye on it for whatever new stuff they put available so that you don't miss future things that they're releasing. I know they're already, uh, I've already backed another product that'll come out at some point <laughs> through them. The next sort of quest pack. Um, but I have at least been playing through the default Hero Quest game and having a lot of fun with it, so it seems worth continuing to invest in. Like, comment, subscribe if you've not already, and thank you for watching. Bye.